Hey Siri, how is the weather looking today? It's currently raining in 13 degrees in Chorley. Expect wind starting in the morning, then rain in the afternoon. Mm. Temperatures are heading down from 14 degrees this morning to 12 tonight. Why? Another day of rain. It's another day of wind. It's so dark this morning as well, but good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. You know, it's gonna, it's gonna take more than this to stop us going out training. I'm just gonna put some waterproof kit on, put some lights on my bike, and then we're uh, good to go. I'm heading off to Calpe in the south of Spain in January with the team on a team training camp. And every single day that it's raining here just makes me want to go to Calpe, like, right now. Even Lexi's just, like, so over the weather, aren't you? You don't like the rain either, do you? What are you doing? Guys, so yesterday I uploaded a, like a Q&A or a chat with Steve Lampier. We talked about training, we talked about, you know, his opinion on, on different types of training, and we really nailed down to some fundamentals. Steve really is, you know, a, a knowledgeable guy. So if you didn't watch yesterday's video, I highly recommend you stop what you're doing right now, go and free up 20 minutes of your time and uh, and watch that video. Like I'm 99% sure you'll take something out of that, out of that video. But uh, in the vlog a couple of days ago, this camera wasn't working. The lens hood cap thing just wasn't opening. I've got a feeling it was because it was just really cold the other day because like, I'm in my house now it's, it's nice and warm and it just opened first time without any problems so that means I don't have to take the iPhone the video quality was great it's just the audio quality and also and also the image stabilization wasn't wasn't that great hence why I use this guy Hey, right, this is proper even got my rain jacket out. I never wear this hence why it's like so big on me I think it's actually my dad's but uh, this is proper today so I'm gonna do a couple of hours this morning with some low cadence efforts normally I'll just do them on like a two hour loop but because of this awful weather today i'm gonna to head over to a climb called uh, ashes beacon do a bit of a loop first and do the efforts on that particular climb the reason is because it's uh it's, there's loads of trees around the roads it's a really wooded area so it should be a little bit drier which will make it a little bit easier to do these efforts you know it's not too bad even though it's raining it's still at like 14 degrees bizarrely it's quite nice working 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 towards a hundred bands Joe finesse i don't need that because i'm a businessman Learned it all by myself, I don't need a hand Shit like this <laughs> Oh yeah, this is a serious puddle Wheel bearings are probably gonna be a little bit f after this ride I'm not gonna lie So I just completed the first effort and uh, you know the power's working as it should do with these PowerTap P1 pedals But it's gonna be interesting because I think today is like the worst ride that I've been out in with these pedals in terms of the rain so it's going to be interesting to see if there's any problems any dropouts so far it's, it's bang on and it's working as it should but I'm going to report back on this at the end of the ride and see how water tight these pedals really are fifth and final effort done you know that was a good call today heading over to a tree covered climb a tree covered climb i made saying that harder work than it really was but uh you know it's been a, it's been a good ride actually sometimes like the worst or the hardest part of a wet day is actually getting out there on the bike and then when you do finally get out it's, it's you know it's, it's not as bad as you think it's gonna be you just gotta crack on and get it done but now i've got like a 30 minute ride home i'm just gonna take it steady tap it out Oh yeah, and the uh, the update on the pedals. Obviously today I was riding through a lot of puddles, a lot of deep puddles. The pedals got seriously wet, but I experienced absolutely zero dropouts. No problems or criticisms whatsoever. Like it's hard, I'm trying to find ways to scrutinize these pedals, but I'm I'm seriously struggling. They've been everything that I hoped they would be so far. The other day I did change the batteries. You unscrew this with an Allen key, then it's just the AAA battery that goes in here. I didn't change the battery because it ran out. It, it was still working perfectly fine. But according to the website and various sources, the batteries last for around 60 hours with these pedals and i've done about 70 to 80. AAA batteries are very inexpensive so i thought I, i'd just put some new ones in because i'd gone over that 60 hour barrier and i didn't want to be out mid-ride one day and suddenly the power meters just pack in so i think that's what i'm going to do like every 60 to 70 hours i'm just going to change the batteries just so i'm not stuck out on the ride one day because there's nothing worse riding to power and then suddenly the power meter dies and then you've got no power readings for the rest of the ride <laughs> So today is kind of like a double training session day. I went out for my bike 
I went out for my bike. I went out on my bike for two hours this morning. Now I'm just gonna rest and recover for a couple of hours before I head over to the gym this afternoon. So I'm about to go to the gym now. It's still cold outside. It's still dark. It's still wet. But I just realized something, and it's nice to see that I still have I still have a very small part of summer associated with me. Can you see that? I still got a tan line. And also one on my arm as well. Long live the tan lines. No doubt they'll be disappearing very soon. In whole squad, looking like we just robbed the Bloomingdale's. Got my bay from Laguna B. Sing my whole life a fairy tale. Oh, there we go. I made it. Feels like there's a little bit of fatigue in the legs from this morning's low cadence session. So this is probably going to hurt a little bit. Look at this shot. Just come out of the gym. And it's still light. Like, well, it's not light, but I mean, it's, it's not dark. Didn't do loads today in the gym because I got a long ride tomorrow and I don't want to completely span on myself. Did some leg work today, of course, but mainly lower back and core. Now, the gym's a weird place. From like starting to come a few times, I'm, I'm noticing a few different things. And no one's really like focused on their own. I could, when I go in, I just like to put my headphones on, just concentrate on what I got to do and do what I do what I got to do. But everyone's just looking around and you feel like when you're doing your exercises, you're constantly being watched. It's, just, it's, it's, it's a weird feeling. I don't particularly like going to the gym. As I've said, like a million times in the vlog but the main thing is i was concentrating on what i was doing and uh, i got some good work done so i just arrived home and i had a message on instagram from one of the viewers saying do you realize that you're verified on strava so went on my strava profile on my phone and it turns out we got a little we got a little tick next to my name so if you want to follow me on strava i put all of my training on there it's just my name cameron jeffers i'm the the one with the tick now i still have in my possession the scott foil frame it's still up for sale if any of you guys want it it's a 58 centimeter it's been used for a couple of seasons all the details are going to be down in the description box but uh, i'm heading out tomorrow morning to do a decent ride which should be fun because we've got flood warnings it's been raining all day it's gonna be, and it's gonna rain all night but we'll have to see what tomorrow brings guys thanks for watching today's video remember oh yeah remember if you want to win if you want to win one of these art prints all you got to do is like this video drop a comment down below and finally you've hit that red subscribe button below the video and as always, I will see you tomorrow at 5 p.m.